a few of Broward County's top basketball powers went toe-to-toe -to -toe with stiff out-of-state competition on day one of the Croyle Classic on Friday. Reigning state champs Westminster Academy and Dillard were in action, as well as perennial power Blanche Ely. Ely put its length and athleticism on display in the nightcap. Suffocating Monsignor Scanlon from the Bronx with their press, the Tigers cruised to a 60-28 victory at Coral Springs City Gym. The pressure just gives us more energy to play defense, said senior guard Michael Forrest, who led Ely, 5-2-3, with 28 points. Offensively, it creates more points for our team. If we get steals, we have a man trailing. That's an easy pitch on selfishness. The Tigers, who advance in the Croyles Under Armour Challenge to face Pines Charter, totaled 16 steals as they made it difficult for the Crusaders to even get past half-court. It was a bounce-back effort for Ely after back-to-back -back losses within the previous week to Northeast and Miami Norland. Ely coach Melvin Randall attributed the difference in the Tigers' play to five players coming together as one on the court relating it to five fingers coming together to form a fist as opposed to playing as individuals for a slap. If you slap them, it may sting, they cry and they go away, but if you give them that punch, you have five fingers coming together with one fist, then we can do some things, Randall said. Wilkinson Isnord went for 11 points and 8 rebounds while Anthony Bird had 10 points and 3 assists as Ely forced a running clock with a 35-point advantage at 56-21 in the third quarter. Defending Class 4A state champ Westminster Academy is learning how to play without its key pair of bigs, Paul Atkinson and Jason Strong, that helped the Lions claim that title last year. Westminster fell 58-53 to Pennsylvania's Monsignor Bonner in the Croyles Elite Challenge on Friday. Junior guard Isaiah Wong led the Friars with 24, but the Lions also allowed double figures to a pair of 6-foot-8 forwards in senior Ajiri Johnson, 13, and junior Tarek Ingram, 11. We're so used to playing with Paul Atkinson and Jason Strong. Westminster coach Aaron Walhoff said of the two bigs he would have had defending them inside last year. You've got to get over that hangover. We're playing with a different team, and now it's a different concept. Bonner also made 22 of 25 free throws, many down the stretch in the fourth quarter where it pulled away in the final minutes. There's nothing you could do there hitting their free throws. All you can do is try not to foul, play good defense said senior guard and FGCU signee Zach Scott, who led the Lions, 2-4, with 21 points. Dudley Blackwell scored 10 and Chase Johnston added 8 points. Junior center Anthony Atkinson, at 6 foot 8, was Westminster's answer to the two Bonner big men, but he took a second-half elbow to the head and made his exit. It changed the momentum of the game, Walhoff said. We'll see how we learn from that and get our other bigs to be ready to go when it's time to step up. The Lions go up against another reigning state champ, Miami Christian, Class 2A, on Saturday.